matchup for the UFC welterweight division title. Hey guys, this is Mr. Jojo Kidal wishing the World War Championship between Brucey and Soja Arnold. I hope you guys will like it. Well, this is exciting here, DC. The founder of Jeet Kune Do, one of the founding fathers, really, of mixed martial arts. Bruce Lee is back in a big spot here tonight. Bruce Lee is what every kid looked to when they thought about doing karate. Bruce Lee is the person that anyone looked at when they said, I want to be a fighter. It was the speed. It was the charisma. It was the approach of Bruce Lee that made him so special. And tonight, he's going to look to show a new generation of fighters exactly how it's supposed to be done. And if you hear the phrase, drillers make killers, right? I mean, that was Bruce Lee in a nutshell. He felt like practice yes, would make yes. perfect. Nobody trained as hard as the great Bruce Lee. He is the reigning, defending, undisputed UFC welterweight champion of the world. And in a division that has so much depth in that top 15, it's even more remarkable that this man has remained the hunted. The question tonight, with a powerful challenger out of that blue corner, can he walk away and still? And now our tail of the tape for this welterweight championship fight. Three years apart, with big differences in height, but some differences in reach. Now to get us started, the veteran voice of the octagon, Bruce Buff. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, a referee in charge of the octagon, Eve Loving. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the T-Mobile Arena in Las Vegas, it's time! Five rounds for the undisputed UFC welterweight championship of the world. If you see first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a mixed martial artist making his professional debut here tonight. He stands five feet seven inches tall, weighing in at 155 pounds. Fighting out of Los Angeles, California, USA, presenting the challenger, Bruce the Dragon Lee. And now introducing the champion, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a boxer, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands six feet two inches tall, weighing in at 185 pounds. Fighting out of Las Vegas, Nevada, ladies and gentlemen, presenting the reigning, defending UFC welterweight champion of the world, the chosen one. UFC belt on the line, guys. Protect yourself at all time, obey my command at all time. If you want to touch love, do it now, go back to your corner. can hold up to this one. Good evening from T-Mobile Arena here in Las Vegas, Nevada. Open April of 2016. UFC went there for the first time at UFC 200, and they've been bringing big shows seemingly every other month ever since. They call Vegas the fight capital of the world. And if you're talking about a home base for the UFC, you're talking about T-Mobile Arena, home to some of the biggest UFC events ever, UFC 200. Conor McGregor versus Khabib Nurmagomedov. This place has been the home of some of the biggest UFC fights in history. Tonight, you get to take the same walk to that octagon to try to make your mark on the sport. Big head kick lands. Oh, 
really using his reach advantage there as he lands the punch, DC. Almost in range with the straight left, but that's a miss. Look at him chopping the wood. Chop the wood with those leg kicks. Oh, huge block! Nice. They're certainly getting after it early. He loaded up with that right hand, too. DC didn't take him long to find his range here tonight, huh? His timing is on point. Lee gets hit with a kick. Oh, he lands a massive kick here. Now a knee. Trademark inside leg kick there by Lee. Just over three minutes to go in our first round. Unable to land the head kick there. Ooh, head kick lands, he's hurt. Just misses there with the left. What a punch. I mean, he's cutting him down to size with these beautiful leg kicks. Blocks the shot. If your opponent has you in the clinch, pulling down on your head, landing punch after punch, you have got to clear that collar tie, reach back inside, and try to find space. Let's get some offense. Let's get going. Just misses with the jab there. Stick. Look at how he turned his hip into that leg kick. Caught that. Now there's danger in that too because when you start reaching on to catch that kick, here comes the high kick, and then you're in a lot of trouble. Timely defense there, huge block for him. Lee gets touched by that kick there. Just out of range with that right hand. Oh, made good use of his size there as he lands the flush knee. Straight right hand, no good. Great punch there. His boxing fundamentals are just so clean. Oh, he looks so sharp tonight. And once again, looking for that highlight reel KO with that front kick. Game of inches right there, boy. Wow. It was a good night if that landed. Big liver kick lands under the elbow. Oh, really exploiting his reach advantage as he landed the jab there, DC. Just missed with the straight left hand. Fifteen seconds to go. Single collar tie now. Good night if that landed. Five minutes in the books. All right, well, his kicking game was outstanding in that round. We'll see if his opponent can make the adjustments, but take us through the replays before we get there. It's always weird to watch a young fighter start to come into his own. Early in his career, he did not have this ability. He did not have the ability to dictate and control fights with his legs. Now he does, and he looks like a future champion in the making. All right, DC, second round is getting underway. Round one, not the round of the year necessarily, but some good ones. And it's not always gonna be. When you have two very talented fighters, sometimes it's very even. That's what we saw in round number one. Oh, 
Oh, body kick attempt here. It's no good. Big kick lane. All right, so he's landed some good shots tonight, but this is not a combo meal, right? No three-piece, oh. no soda. It's one and done more often than not. John, don't you come to me without a combo. I want the whole <laughs> platter. Give him the whole platter, young man. Put some punches together. Make this guy take the whole thing. Give him more than one strike. You have now found a set of punch. The jab has landed consistently. Find something that's going to go behind it. Let's move. Let's nice punch there by Lee. Oh, big head kick. Continue to exchange. Cable in. Oh, huge shot finds the target there. Great shot lands. Now he's got to go find that follow-up attempt. The kill shot is what they call it to go and end the fight. Oh, head kick blocked by Lee. Big punch lands over the top. How's he gonna follow this one? Circling towards the left now. That right hand hurt him a little bit. Nice head kick. Oh, he lands another strike to the body, really starting to connect on a lot of shots to the midsection, and these will take their toll as this fight goes into the latter rounds. Lee gets caught with that punch. His chin is held up thus far. Got to shore up the defense here, though. Oh, man, this guy kicks like a... Harris oh, lands, and maybe time to get the bonus checks ready. I mean, this fight is about done. He's got him hurt very bad with his head kick. Now he has to find one more strike to end the night. how many more of these his opponent can take. Massive shot that he landed. Great job. Man, as he landed a high volume of strikes here in round two, definitely picking up the pace after round one. So he got the message from the corner, and now he is taking control of this second round. How good is that right hand? There's a land with the kick, so certainly a good sign for him there. When that's working, you know he's in for a good night. Nice right in. Real sneaky body kick. Look at the force behind that leg kick. Dude's hurt. Serve him up. Go get him. Oh, he might be out. Oh, straight right. You got him. Oh, nice job by him there to slip that offer. Big powerful punch man. Now we get back to range. Back and forth we go. Just misses with the right. And they separate. Nice one, two there. Kickboxing chops on full display with that offering. Nicely done. Beautiful kick landed oh. by this man. He's in trouble. He's hurt bad. Oh, he might be out. Seconds left to go in round two. Man, looks like he's trying to set records here, landing all of these strikes. He is aggressive to a fault and really has been all night long as he continues to pour it on. Got to be careful here, though, not to gas out. Visibly limping here. Ten minutes in the books.
All right, the round is over. Gut check time for him now. You see the cut on his cheek has gotten really, really bad. And even though it's not affecting his vision, if it gets any worse, the doctor will be called in. And I can assure you, he's going to have no choice but to stop this fight. All right, let's check out some of the action from that previous round, DC. And what a display on the feet. Huge knockdown with that kick. Yeah, he's a high-level striker. He throws these kicks to the body. He throws them low. But when he goes up top, he's very powerful. And he can end anybody's night. The toughness displayed by his opponent allowed him to stay in the fight, but he cannot take many more of those types of strikes. All right, next round is now underway. I thought there was pretty good back and forth action in the previous round. Yes, it wasn't a far fight. It wasn't two guys throwing the kitchen sink at each other, but you did see times when it came together and you saw the skill level of these two fighters. Oh, really making good use of his reach advantage as he lands the straight punch there. Big kick lands. Well, most fighters can't keep up this type of aggression and pace, but you don't have to worry about this guy. He hasn't really showed any signs of slowing down tonight. Trying to go to the body now with the kick. That one misses. Well, no surprises. He connects once again, and that looked like it landed right on that cut. Right on the cut, and he's targeted it, right? He's looking. You can see him almost putting a laser beam on that cut and just putting his hands on it. It doesn't take much to keep making it split, showing his opponent that he has no mercy. Do some really significant damage to the body here. Another strike lands there. Ooh wee! Ooh wee! What a right hand by this young man. Oh, nice connection by him there with the right hand. The right hand is the dominant hand, and you can see how well he throws it. Oh man! I think you jumped out of your seat a little bit after that kick. Oh, I did because I have time where I've been kicked like that. And I'm gonna tell you one thing: it does not feel good. Fourth we go. Oh, oh. Yeah, that's effective the straight punches we've seen all night. Huge straight punch lands, and he's got him hurt very bad. Oh. What a fantastic strike to throw at the exact yeah. oh, so bad. He's hurt bad, John. He's got to press him. He's got to go take that finish down now. Nice move in the half guard. Shades of Daniel Cormier slicing through that goal. Unbelievable. I love it. Like a knife through butter. What a great job passing. Oh, man. This ground and pound is good. Probably my favorite striking realm in MMA, and he's as good as it gets. The problem is his opponent is not controlling his posture. He's allowing his opponents to get up, and when he does, he creates this space to land these beautiful ground and pound combinations. I mean, how many can he take? Well, as usual, suffocating work from the top here by Lee. He's putting him in exactly the positions he needs to be in right now. He's able to relax here. And he understands, being a veteran of so many fights, that as long as he's on top, he's winning. He feels like he's winning here. Switching stances here. And he landed the right hand there. Miss with that jab attempt there. Oh, buckled him there. Beautiful shot to the body. 
Well, if you like Muay Thai striking, this might be your moment in this fight as he gets the tie clinch. This is a massive moment for this fighter. He is a great Muay Thai fighter. Look for him to go knee-knee and then try to land a big one to the head. Big punch land. Ooh. Lee's lower jaw does not look good. I don't think it's broken, but starting to show some obvious signs of swelling. Look at him working and trying to shut the liver down. Lee gets hit with a kick. That one appeared to land flush. Beautiful technique on the straight right hand. Final seconds of round three. All right, that's three rounds in the books. We are headed to the championship rounds. All right, so there's the horn signifying the end of the round. A stunner there with the head strike midway through. Nearly got him out of there for good. Almost got him out of there. He hurt him badly. He had his opponent hurt real bad. Now his opponent's walking back to his corner. Everybody looks confused. They don't know what they're supposed to do to try to change the way that this fight is going. All right, so here we go. Fourth round is underway. What is the fighter's mentality when you enter those seminal championship rings? You understand. Oh, a huge shot lands there, DC. He landed that massive shot. Now we need to try to find the next shot, the follow-up shot, that will finish the fight. All right, bottom fighter here, maybe looking to hip escape, DC. Side control now. Movement, hip work on the ground here, just outstanding with the transition. He is not staying in one place on the ground. That's very important. Well, working pretty effectively from the top here. Nice ground and pound by Lee. All right, he's trying to control posture here. Now trying to hip escape. He's just trying to move out of this position off the bottom. Gates up to his feet. Very nice. Looked like it did stun him a little bit. Now look at him jumping in to try to get the finish. Oh, he got him. He got him. Nice strike. And both guys really throwing with authority. Nice hook, Lance. Trying to establish that jab once again. Oh, significant strike attempt there, but a huge block. As he gets close, he's out of the kicking range. He'll suddenly he'll change his stance. Oh, he's really starting to apply pressure on his opponent here. Different approach here in the last couple rounds, and it's the exact sense of urgency that you want to see from a fighter take the judges out of it. I'm not even sure his opponent saw it coming. So a huge, huge win for that young fighter here tonight. So there he is, the undisputed UFC welterweight champion. What a finish he turned in here tonight as he gets it done by way of knockout. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Eve Leving has called a stop to this contest at 2 minutes, 15 seconds of round number 4. To play the winner by knockout and new undisputed UFC welterweight champion of the world, Ruth the Dragon Lee. All right, so he dedicated 
decades of his life to this very goal, and he is now the UFC champion. No one can ever take that away from him. Yeah, man, you gotta take a lot of confidence from staying so committed to a goal for so long. The moment he walked into the UFC, he said, I will be the champion. He got it done tonight, and you gotta...